D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video this is part two a continuation of, of part one so the camera had stopped recording so I'm gonna leave um, a link in this video description to the beginning of this video because I won't be doing any editing editing so it's gonna be two videos coming up right for the same part so this is a service tip for my subscribers um, just to recap client had a uh, another contract to look at this unit the contractor stated that the compressor is bad contractor replaced the capacitor the dual capacitor as a compressor on the on the condenser fan on there so I came in and um, yeah I found that the wire was burnt off on the compressor right so I tested it it didn't turn the compressor didn't turn over again check in the description please check in the description for the the first part of the video because the camera stopped recording and I just I just will not my channel I don't do any editing so I won't join the video it's going to be two separate uploads so check that for the first bit to see what I did and my findings now I'm just going to go ahead now and do the testing right so I did the repairs on the compressor already um the terminals I'm going to go ahead now I got the power disconnect back in and I'm going to go ahead now and uh just fire it up for the first time let's just see so I'm going to go ahead and push the contactor in because you know the thermostat is off and and it's not calling right now so it's going to do it you know this is for pros not do it yourself -er. all right it's going to go ahead and push the contactor in see if my compressor turned over initially it was only the fan that turned over not the compressor all right so again if you want to see what i did i'm going to leave the link in the description the video description click, the, click that link and see the first part of this video so here it goes Wait a minute. I think I have some loose wires in here or something. Not loose wires, but my fan is touching. My blade is touching. Let me correct that and then do take two. All right, so I ended up leaving my flashlight inside of the unit. Flashlight was left in there. However, that wasn't, that wasn't what was touching on my fan blade. It was the wires. So I just pulled the wires back. And I'm going to be cleaning this condenser anyways, if it does work, so um, yeah, let's go ahead, take two. Aha! It worked, baby. My compressor is on. Look, guys. System is R22. I'm currently holding the contactor in because the compressor isn't the thermostat is not calling. But my compressor runs. Oh, this is awesome, y'all. This is awesome. So yeah, I think I am the hero. Comment, leave a comment in the description if you think that you know this is like a hero move when the, when, when another contractor told the client that client you need a new compressor and then you go in that's why you got to be subscribed you got to subscribe you have to subscribe because this is this is for all my subscribers and my viewers right look at this i'm holding the contactor in my fan is spinning and look at my pressures system is r22 so the compressor did turn over and it's currently running guys i'm gonna give this call a cleaning i just won't do a video on me cleaning the call because i already have a video up actually i have two video rather rather two video two videos rather of me doing condenser call cleaning so if you wanted to see that just go check it out um i think that was my last upload yeah so i'm gonna be cleaning this condenser call 
and um, yeah the customer is going to be super happy I probably will install a booster kit in there I don't know perhaps and then I probably gonna I'm probably gonna replace this contactor so you see I'm holding it in again you know this is rather dangerous what I'm doing with my hand here so if you're not a pro don't do that this is for pros only not for do it yourself do it don't try this at home all right pros only if you're a do-it-yourselfer go turn the thermostat on and let the thermostat call for cooling don't do what I'm doing here this is only for pros but yeah I'm super excited guys I'm super super excited right I came in here um, and I actually saved the customer some money I'm gonna give him um, probably another summer maybe two summer maybe three summers who knows from this unit right here Wow so my compressor is running okay it is running um, let me get let me see let me see you know what I'm going to clean the coil and then you know what is running I'm gonna do like a superheat of my thermometer on the suction pipe and just see how it's performing so you guys could see it but yeah it's good so the other contractor says hey um, compressor is bad I came in and clearly you could see if you're a pro or uh, if you're a uh, do-it-yourselfer perhaps you won't know but if you're a pro or a beginner this, this system is R22 that's the refrigerant it uses and yeah it is my compressor is on clearly you can see that my compressor is running I'm super excited this is awesome 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 all right I'm loving this right here so I'm gonna give this a call cleaning you won't see me cleaning the call because our, like I said our videos are already up on my channel doing call cleaning so go check it out and like I said this video is two parts check the description for the link to the, to the, to the first part of this video you're gonna see exactly what I had found what I did all right if you're interested in that if you're not if you're not interested just know that um, if, you, if you go on a service call to all my subscribers and viewers and you know as a technician you, you you found that the compressor is not turning over and you replace the capacitor and it still doesn't turn over you're gonna to want to unplug all three compressor wires ohm it out using your home meter or your tester and make sure that you're getting continuity across all three if not you want to want to go over to the compressor and check that because you might find the problem over there all right, so let me just go ahead and I'm gonna turn this off. Woo. And um, yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, give this call a cleaning. The customer is gonna be super happy when I deliver this news to them that the compressor works. Stay tuned. Okay, so here I am inside. I have not cleaned the callers yet, but I'm almost going to turn the system on from the thermostat and just see my superheat. And so you guys could see for yourself real time. And then I'm going to close this video off. Now, if you like it, remember, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, do so right now and smash that bell icon. And remember, uh, part one of this video is going to be in the description down there. Go just, 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 go, go, you know, down there. All right, watch it. So, let me see here more system. Oh, it's rather bright. This is a mode. All right, so you know what? This is not working out with this thermostat here. It's going to put it on, and I'll show you guys. Oh, there it goes again. Come on. All right, so let's go see. Oh, 
Oh yeah. We are cooling baby and my compressor is running. R22. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a hero. I feel like a superhero right now, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, listen man, if you're a subscriber, you watch this video right here, I know it's gonna help you out. You know what I'm saying? If you're just a viewer, you should subscribe. You should consider subscribing. This should make you subscribe right now. Just hit that hit that subscribe uh, button and um, smash that bell icon because I do upload videos like these on a weekly basis, particularly on a Sunday, right? Happy Sunday. Yeah. And my back pressure is rather high though, but you can see it is high because it's 79 degrees in the space, all right? Yeah. She's running, baby. So I have 62 degrees on my suction line. System just turned on. It's a high load. 79 degrees on the return. 79 degrees on the space. So how many super do we have? Wow. It's probably low on refrigerant too. Is it? No, let me see right now. So we're at 60 degrees right here. Um, saturated temperature. So 60 degrees and we're at 62 degrees over here. So it's not really low on refrigerant. I would say probably my, my filter indoor needs to be needs to be changed or something like that because I am actually at 60 right here and 60 over there. So that super heat is like three degrees, super low. If anything, this thing is overcharged, all right? Perhaps it is, I don't know. This pipe is rather warm. Can't feel with my gloves on. Let me get rid of my gloves. Yeah, so it's not feeling too bad. It's not hot. The colonies could use some cleaning, as you could see that. I'm gonna give it a pressure wash. But suction pipe is 62 degrees. And for R22, I'm literally sitting at 60 degrees right here. So that's, that is two degrees superheat. I don't know what's going on here. That's just weird. Um, that is to be, you know, investigated further. All right, because I don't know, perhaps it's a, it's a TXV for the metering device, but still, you know, this thing is correct. But nonetheless, the, 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 that's for another diagnostic. That's not what this video is about. This video is about the other contractor stating that the compressor is bad. And clearly, you could see that the compressor is running. Let me get my meter and do the amperage. And then I'm gonna close this video off. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, subscribe. Because I do upload videos like these on a weekly basis. Smash that bell icon. All right. Now here you go. The black wire from the contactor goes to the compressor. Does so it say black under schematic? Um, doesn't say black. Does it? No, I don't see. It doesn't say black. Okay, it doesn't say black. Does it say it over here? Uh, it doesn't say it either. Okay, red. Yeah. There's a black wire right there. And that goes on to your compressor. If you trace it out, it goes over to your compressor. Okay, yeah. So that's doing seven amps. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. My compressor is running, so the compressor is not bad. I saved this compressor. All right, I'm gonna give this customer, I don't know, another summer. Maybe two, maybe three summers, who knows, right? Um, I'm definitely gonna replace this contactor too, if we're giving him a brand new contactor. Um, again, the pressure is looking kind of weird. It's looking rather weird, you know? Given that my uh, suction temperature is that number, I don't know what's going on with that, but my compressor is running. Perhaps the compressor is not so efficient as far as 
the compression ratio. But it does run. It runs. And that's Fahrenheit. That's Celsius. Alright, if you like this video once again, give it give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, oh, this lens is getting hot right now, yeah. Okay, now it's getting hot, so we gotta clean this car. Alright. Um, it is currently 85 degrees or so here outside the outdoor ambient. So for 85 degrees. The air pressure is rather high, okay, because these pressures are for like 95 plus degrees, R22. So, hence the reason why I already know we need a condenser call cleaning. Because it's running at saturated temperature at 130, all right, and it's 85 degrees out here. All right, so I'm going to close this video off right now. I won't do a video of me cleaning the call because you guys said I've already uploaded videos doing that. All right, and check in the description for the first part of this video. If you're interested, it's gonna be two uploads. I'm gonna upload two videos simultaneously at the same time, All right? That's what simultaneous mean together, okay? <laughs> and then that's it guys, I'm out of here.